following film is a dramatization based on interviews, official reports, and published accounts. This won't hurt a bit, right? Allison, now you've been through this enough, you know better. Now, you appear to be generally in good health, but with your medical history, we just have to eliminate any possibility of bone marrow involvement. Now, you told me never to sugarcoat the truth, right? So, you know, there's always the possibility of a relapse. Now, we both know there's a probability. We might as well be honest and deal with it. Oh, come on. You've probably just been pushing yourself too hard, as usual. Now, if these tests come back negative, I have some more I want to run tomorrow. Looks like we're getting a nice breeze this afternoon. You going out on the lake? No, not today. fight this together I'm not sick I'm pregnant you're what I'm almost four months pregnant I thought that wasn't possible so did I didn't you tell me you could never have children I didn't think I could and I knew I didn't feel well, but it never occurred to me to have a pregnancy test. I thought it was the cancer. I don't understand. When I was going through the chemo, the doctors told me if I ever got pregnant, I'd almost certainly miscarry. And after what I'd been through, I couldn't face it. So I had my tubes tied. So? So? Howard says one of them grew back together. Are you okay? He says I'm past the danger point as far as miscarrying. I should have a normal pregnancy. He said it's a miracle. A one in 10,000 shot. My only chance to be a mother. And you're going to be a great one. I want to have this baby. And make you a father. I guess that is how it works. I mean, if you want to. I mean, you had no way of knowing that this would happen. That sort of changed things. Maybe we should get married. Steve, I'm sorry. I just... 
I can't. I, it's too much for me to think about right now. I can't. I can't think. Look, I'm going sailing in August. I'll be on the ocean for a week. I'll have time to think. Let me go and do that. And when I come back, we'll deal with all of this. Is that okay? That's great. As long as you promise to come back. Will you promise to be here? I'm here. I thought you were going to have to walk all the way to Newport, huh? Happy for a jacket. Ah, I take my time buying groceries. Care what kind of fuel I put in the old engine. Why don't you sit in the middle? My legs are longer. Sure. Oh, you must be Mark. Hi. In a bit of a rush here. Got to get this boat up to Newport for the boat show. I want to push off tonight. Seatbelt. This your first time in South Carolina? Yes. Let's see. A pregnant woman signs up for a sailway to Newport, which means she's either out for the adventure or on the run. <laughs> hey, Mark, could you check this lady out? I mean, she's not some kind of axe murderess or something, is she? I'm just looking for some peace and quiet. Uh, your application said you had a uh, blue water experience. Yeah, I crewed for six months in the Caribbean. And the doctor says the trip's okay for you in June, right? He has a name, it's a boy, Adrian. Uh, nothing too strenuous, no heavy lifting. Other than that, there are no problems. Hey, I wouldn't let you do anything like that anyway. I mean, I'm a gentleman. I don't know about Mark, though. <laughs> Look, I just met him this morning. Me? A gent? Not bloody likely. I checked the weather in the paper this morning. There's a tropical depression in the Bahamas. Any chance we might have to wait? No, I believe the diet won't catch us. I might get a little rain, that's all. Yeah. It's just if there's any risk, I'd rather not go. I'm from Mauritius. It's an island off Africa. We're a sailing people, okay? I've been sailing all my life. You just take your ship, cook a few meals, and have your peace and quiet. No freaking worries, eh? Gorgeous or what? Very. Stone of groceries and gear. I'll catch up later. Not much of a housekeeper, is he? Do you think he's okay? And shouldn't he be helping us? Hey, if that girl was waiting for me, I wouldn't be down here either. <laughs> Look, I've been sailing all my life. We talk. He knows sailing almost as well as I do. Let's see what we got here. One flare gun. Ten flares. One pepperoni pizza. Three and a half slices. Called the National Weather Center. 
That storm's still crawling toward Florida, and I'm headed north. So, shall we do it? Mark, I thought there was going to be Satnav on board. Where is it? Know what this is? A sextant. Negative. This is a global positioning system. I've delivered 20 yachts, sailed across the Atlantic. Me and my trusty global positioning system. <laughs> All right, we'll get you a bloody sat now. <laughs> I would say that he's not big on modern technology. Come on. Sextants work great. They have for 250 years. As long as it's not cloudy. Satnav, it's a signal that's bounced off a satellite, so you know your exact position. I mean, he got one, but it was like I was a dumb broad to ask. He is really arrogant. Well, don't go. Come on back. No, I can't do that. I signed on as a deckhand rain or shine. And now I think it's going to rain. I think I'm just really lonely. I miss you. I'm looking at your picture. Oh, baby kicked. He saw it. He misses you, too. You know what I was thinking? If I leave tomorrow, I could drive up, meet you in Newport. We maybe take a little trip around New England where it's nice and cool. I like the way you think. And I've been thinking about something you said. About you maybe dying. And I'm thinking about us together raising this boy and I know in my soul you are not gonna die on us Allison Wilcox we won't let you you always say the right thing you know you're the smartest guy so it's a date next Thursday Newport Road leave before die never getting the channels a wee bit easier Allison Clancy you there yeah. shove it off you better get to it boy it's getting on hang on a second I'm um, sorry. Uh, we've got a date, but we're shoving off. i got to go. Steve, I love you. I love you. Bye. You know, in a way, I was hoping you'd stay on the phone till past midnight. Bad omen to sail on Friday. Great. It's my birthday, too. Sailor never said sail on his birthday. That's another bad omen. Happy birthday. Anything else? Yeah, I shouldn't be teasing you. Hey, come on, Allison, lighten up, huh? <laughs> Next stop, Newport, Rhode Island. Because my watch is over and the wheel is screwed down. Mark, I said no risk. Why didn't you say hurricane? It's supposed to make city. <laughs> I was out on that. Bob, it's too friendly. You know I like women's names better. I take the coordinates every hour. If it does get snotty, I've sailed thousands of miles in heady weather. So is it. There's nothing like it. Oh, come on, guys. A hurricane is more than just snotty weather. It's hundreds of miles south. They say it won't be a cane till Monday. Yeah, well, weather changes, forecast change, any sailor prepares for the worst. It's turned toward us at increasing speed. We have to turn back. Mark, it's just not safe. We either have to find a safe harbor or turn back. Please. Don't be such a worrier. I've sailed many... I don't care what a good sailor you are. 
I said no risk. This is my only chance to have a baby. Now there's a hurricane headed straight for us. I'm the captain of the boat. No freaking worries, eh?
of them gonna be sick. I can't believe you saw that bag and you let it sink with all our food and all of our water. 
Betty, not now. I tried. I held on to something. Can I have a drink? Go ahead. Mm. Uh. Fill up with salt water. All right, all right we got uh, we got a couple problems here. Um, if we drink salt water, we'll go crazy. Human being can only last five, maybe six days without fresh water, and we got ourselves a little low. Here in the raft, which means we probably have a hole in the lower tube. But that's all right, because I'm a... I'm an Eagle Scout. I got 27 merit badges. We'll be just fine. Gonna be fine. We should agree no salt water, no matter how thirsty we get. Right. Mark. If we're not rescued in six days, we'll be dead. We'd be rescued in six hours if you'd have packed that e -perb. The Coast Guard doesn't require one. All oh, right. How could you put us out in a boat in the middle of the ocean in the open sea with a bad weather forecast and not pack an e huh? How could you do that, Mark? Mine was broken. I tried to borrow one. That's just fine. That's fine. I feel much better now. Don't you, Allison? How about you, Adrian? Don't you feel much better now? Hey. He tried to borrow one. He tried to borrow one. So now, we're not putting out a distress signal. We're sitting in the middle of the ocean in a half-inflated raft, but that's all right, because you tried to borrow one, and I feel much better now. Maybe there's one in the raft. Yeah, I found it. All right, let's see what we got in here. Three handheld players. Two paddles big enough for a bathtub, what a joke. Sponge. Whistle. And a toupee. Patch must remain dry for 24 hours to properly adhere. That's very helpful. Okay. So, we got everything we need except food, water, and oh yeah, shelter. You all right? Just trying to keep Adrian warm. We're not doing Newport until Thursday. Steve was going to meet me there. So nobody's going to search for us till then. This is only Sunday. Birmingham weather. Sunny, hot, and humid for the remainder of the weekend. Good day to kick back beside the water and the swimming pool. Unless you're in Cape Hatteras. If you're in Cape Hatteras, you're being kicked out. Authorities have ordered tens of thousands of residents and vacationers to evacuate the Cape and Outer Banks. As Hurricane Bob, off the Atlantic coast and packing sustained winds of at least 125 miles an hour, is expected to strike the area sometime in the next few hours. Local authorities have closed all roads leading to the coastal islands and are ordering residents and vacationers to evacuate immediately. We have news from... Been broadcasting hurricane warnings for nearly 24 hours. Plenty of time for her boat to tie up in a safe harbor. The likelihood is that your friend is fine. She's pregnant, okay? I need to know if she's all right. How do I find out if she's all right? What information do you need? Well, if you could find out the name and type of vessel, the names of the other persons on board. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. The place and time of departure and the expected time of arrival. Also, what emergency equipment they have on board and if they have an e -perb. A what? What is, what is an e -perb? Emergency position indicating radio beacon. If they really are in trouble and we started a search, it would give us a precise fix on their location. Okay, so where would you base a search from? If we conduct an open ocean search, we would fly our search planes out of Elizabeth City Air Station. Elizabeth City. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth City, North Carolina.
ship. I see a ship over there. Look. There must be somebody on watch. I'm lighting a flare. Do it. Come on, come on, do it. Bloody fair. You gotta hold me up higher in the bloody raft. to me about those bloody flares. Fishy, fishy. Don't close your eyes, Allison. Remember, we know we're in the shipping lanes. Come on. Ah! Hey! I got a fish! Get him! Don't let him get away! <laughs> I've got a fish! I caught a fish! Three hours to catch him, huh? All right, now we got food. We don't have any shelter, we don't have any water yet, but we got food. Uh, give me a life vest, would you, Mark? Hey, Mark, come on, give me a life vest. I gotta cut him up. Yeah! With my bare hands, I caught fish. <laughs> I got a fish, huh? Sushi? Why don't you take the organs? They're the most nutritious. Thanks. It'd be nice to have something to wash it down with. The eyes are liquid. Breakfast, El Capitan. Good. Sun feels good. And what would your dining pleasure be for dinner, sir? The chef needs a couple of hours in advance. Look, 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 we gotta stop bickering and figure out a strategy to survive. You want a strategy? I'll give you a strategy. We stop being human beings and become human doings. We watch the shipping lanes, we watch the sky. We provide food, water, and shelter. We rescue ourselves. Negative! We survive by conserving our energy until somebody rescues us. Look, at least we're talking about it. We're not due in port until Thursday, so nobody will look for us until Friday. Mark, we've got to do something for ourselves until then. Shoot yourself. Oh, what, are you checking out? Well, that's just great. I'm carrying a baby, and I said no risk, Mark. That's just great. I'm sorry. Look, it doesn't matter how we got here, does it? We're here together. 
That's got to be our strategy. We stay together, talk things over. We agree. Majority rules. And then we'll act together. We'll look out for each other. Okay? Well, now that we've psychobabbled and we all feel much better, we still have to get fresh water and shelter. All right, look, what we need to do is start a routine, so I'm going to start one. Take off your clothes. Uh... We need to dry our clothes and wash and go to the bathroom over the side, Mark. Hey, Mark, you know, I'm trying to make the world a better place here, and you're not doing anything. Mark! You who? Mark! Fine, fine. Just lay there and drown. Shelter. No, it's too stuffy in here. Well, this way we won't get a chill at night, Mark. Then close it tonight. Now I can't breathe. I just spent ten hours sewing it shut, Mark. We didn't vote. You just did it. I just did it because you're just laying there. We need to guard ourselves against hypothermia and exposure. We might die, Mark. Guys, we can discuss this without going ballistic. We could have figured a way that keeps it open during the day so we could dry out and breathe. We just asked either of us. You're a bleeding dictator. The great eagle scout come to save us. Hey. hey, somebody has to take charge here. You're not a captain. You're, you're just ballast. No, Mark. Mark, please, we're all in the raft, okay? Mark, please, sit back down. I'm the bloody captain. And I can't bloody breathe. Yeah, good. That's too close to me. <laughs> He's the one who's got the Yeah, knife. and you're the one egging him on. He's right, you're dictating, Eddie. You can't do that. You're not the only one in the raft. Fine, fine. We have to look out for each other. We either live together, we die together, but we can't go around killing each other. That's bloody telling it. And as for you. Don't start on no, me. No, I'm not starting with you. I'm I did not survive leukemia and chemotherapy to come out in a raft in the middle of the ocean with the two of you and die. I want to live. I want to live. My life was going great. I was in love for the first time. And I'm having a baby. A miracle baby. Uh, Allison, you're a survivor. That's a, uh, it's a real good omen. Don't give it to him without telling me first.
massive cleanup and salvage operations today after a devastating visit by Hurricane Bob. The worst storm to strike here in decades. Around the harbor, hundreds of boats were severely damaged or destroyed. Injuries were relatively minor thanks to early warnings of the power of this storm from authorities. But the damage wrought by Hurricane Bob will take years to repair and be remembered for decades. This is Dick Miles I've in checked. Newport. Thank you, Dick. Still no messages report. about your friend. Now go to Washington for an update and just a few more questions and we'll be done. Now, did you get any further information about the emergency equipment on board? No, I told you everything I found out. But I got the boat sail plan from the harbor master in Little River. And this is Bob's path up the coast. Now, he would have hit him on Sunday. Okay, that's four days ago. And they are now overdue in Newport, so it's time to start searching. Her boat's not actually due in Newport until Saturday. No, no. It says Thursday right here on the sail plan. Search planners attribute three knots to a boat like that. That's under ideal conditions, which means Saturday. Later, if they pulled into a safe harbor, which is likely. For the past three days, I've been in every marina I could find between here and Myrtle Beach. Hoping to find them tied up in a safe harbor. Nobody has seen her or this boat. I mean, three people are missing. The rules say no search. Look, Mr. Verhees, the reason we're here is to save lives. I can get harbor checks and emergency radio broadcast started from here. But I'll send your report to our rescue center in New York. They're the ones who work out the search plan and decide where and if our planes search. Whatever it takes, okay? She's five months pregnant. We gotta find her. up out of the water and be able to dry, not get so many sores from the salt. Mark, I need to clean and dry your sores, okay? Uh, Come on, Mark. You don't have to help me, all right? Just let me take your shirt off. Uh, Come on. There you go. Just sit up. There you go. There you go. Just pull. I'll pull. I'll pull. Okay? You can conserve your energy. Just don't fight me, all right? Okay. I'm gonna touch him now, all right? Oh, hey, it's okay. It's nurse it's from hell. Look, I gotta clean him. Mark, we're working together, right? We're surviving together. Even at three knots, they would have been in Newport by now. Well, that's pretty good work, but there is more. Current, drift, winds. Look, I have good news. New York has just come up with a search plan for this boat. We're extending the communication search. Hourly broadcast of an urgent button on the Marine Band, calling every marina up and down the coast. I've been calling the marinas for three days. What about planes? What about getting out there and searching? The rescue center has run computer models. And because it's been six days, if anything has happened to your friends, well, they could be anywhere within a several thousand square mile area. And that is a reason not to search? That is why we gotta start searching now! This just in. The Portsmouth, Virginia Coast Guard Station just reported the sighting of a vessel answering our description heading east out of Hampton Roads. Now, they're checking to see if it's them. Look, I'll let you know if we hear anything. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you.
baby kicking? Gonna marry that guy? I just had this idea that I wanted to go sailing one more time before the baby. He asked me. I just should have done it. It couldn't have turned out any worse than this. Don't you be so sure. Me? I came sailing to get away from it. Tell you what, you could write a book. What is it? The bloody floor's rising. It seems to blow it. Just got dry. The hot air is expanding and it's making the seams burst. We gotta cool it down. Smart. Get the inner tube repair kit. We gotta patch the lower tube. It'll raise us up in the water and keep us afloat until somebody rescues us. The glue in the patch kit needs 24 hours to dry. Wrong. It suggests 24 hours to dry. It'll hold in a whole lot less. Do it. Well, my work. Why do you always have to be bloody doing something? The rescue's coming. Title to a say. What's your say? What's your say? Maybe the rescue will come soon. But we're sinking. What if we sink first? We need to do something and we need you to help. Will you? Thanks for bloody asking. Pull the raft up. And give me something to dry it off with. Are you blowing on the glue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. Pull it back. Ugh. There it is. Get up higher. It's got to be out of the water, Mark. Uh. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. Give me the patch. Give me the patch. Hold it up, Mark. Got it. It's all right. You can hold it. You can hold it. Uh, it's getting wet. You gotta hold our pipe. Uh, it's really heavy, Eddie. Okay. It's okay. It's dry. Okay. You can do it, Mark. Hold it up. Okay. Hold it up out of the water. Okay. Look out, Eddie! Uh, okay. What is wrong with you? Out of the water. It's gotta dry. Hold it up. It's gotta work. 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 Portsmouth Station has had no contact with the sailboat out of Hampton Roads. They'll keep searching all night. Thank you. Please, God, I'll never ask for another thing. Just let him be alive. not kicking, is he? No. When was the last time? The boat. Hey, he's like Mark. He's conserving his energy. Help blow up the raft. You don't have to. We'll do it. If you have a better way, something else you want us to try, we'll do it. Just tell us what you want us to do. If 
we weren't all sitting against what we're trying to blow up. We wouldn't waste so much strength. How come you didn't think of that when I was blowing up the raft, huh? Conserve our energy. Let's get another bloody word about bloody anything, Mark. We need the water behind you. Something's moving. Oh, sir! Oh, sir! Oh, sir! Oh, sir! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Come with me a minute. What is it? We have one plane up today doing a track line search. Only one plane? The sighting in Hampton Road has been verified. It's not Allison, unfortunately. Excuse me, sir. So? Now what? That's what we're here to find out. Commander, this is Steve Orhees. Jack Hawkins, operations officer. This is Petty Officer Bill Darden, our radio man. Nice to meet you. Please tell me you're going to send up more than one plane. Well, we've been as eager as you, believe me. And now rescue center is approved. The search areas that we're being assigned are just so huge. But tomorrow, we'll make eight days of winds, currents, drifting. And all these variables affect where they might be. Computer's latest friend, sir, leaving every option open. Well, look. Did uh, Allison talk about the boat, the, the captain, the mate, anything? Um, yeah, she said something about uh, satellite navigation. And she said that the captain was kind of arrogant. The satellite company report said the boat did have a raft and that this captain's logged over 20,000 sea miles and a transatlantic sail. Probably thought he could outrun the hurricane. Okay, primary search objective is a raft with three people on board. Now, I want those search patents flown perfectly. P.O.D. on raft is 10%. Yes, sir. All right, let's find these people. P.O.D.? Probability of detection. It's just 10%? Well, look, we're going to give it our best shot, and that's damn good. But we're looking for a raft the size of this table in half an ocean. Search one, entering Alpha two. Roger, search six. A city out. Drop master, co-pilot, open cargo doors. Let's move our scanners back to the ramp. Agreed. 
It'll make us crazy. Yeah, I'd like that would be any different. <laughs> we agreed no salt water for six days. This is eight days. Go ahead. I've had some. It won't kill you. We had water when it rained. We can go another day. Maybe two. It only rained for ten minutes. Get it. Omar, go. We're in the middle of a bloody ocean of salt water. How are you going to stop me? What if we could distill seawater into fresh? I was <laughs> we wouldn't need a solar still. We'll make one. <laughs> He's alienate the whole bloody ocean. <laughs> You're dying of thirst. Just let me try. We put a, a dark cloth around the bottom to uh, to absorb the heat. The salt water turns into steam, okay? And the steam rises. leaves the salt behind. Does that sound right? Yeah. Less, less water in the jug will, will heat up a lot faster. But how, how are we gonna condense the, the steam and turn it back into fresh? Allison, you might need that later. I'm not going swimming. There's sharks out there. Convincing, you did it, you did it. Easy, easy. Let's it. So we can make more before dark. Water's contaminated everything. It was a good idea. Listen. 
Roger, inform OPSEN that we've completed Alpha 2 and we're returning to base. OPSEN, search 1. Area Alpha 2 is complete with negative results. We'll try again tomorrow. Over. the wings no I didn't see us I didn't bloody see us they never search the same place twice <laughs> not coming back Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Darden? I'm sorry. I don't know Coast Guard <laughs> titles and things. It's Billy. I'm off duty. Steve. So, how's it looking? You guys won't give up, will you? That's Rescue Center's call up in New York. I know we'll try again tomorrow. So does that mean tomorrow's it? I don't know. We have 14 planes searching. Can you get more? I know when it's your own loved ones that are missing, it doesn't sound like much, but they're saying it's one of the biggest searches in Coast Guard history. We even have a Navy and a Canadian plane looking. Hi. Hey, if you don't mind a four-week-old baby in the mess of a house I'm rebuilding, I'd be pleased if you'd join us for dinner. Thanks, but I got a couple of harbors I want to call again. I got to keep trying. Okay. I understand. That's how I met her. She hired me to renovate her house. She's tough. Drove a hard bargain. My wife and I are praying for you and Allison and the others. We'll find them. And when she gets back, we'll have dinner, okay, all of us? Because we need to hear about having a new baby around the house. The health food starts. This <laughs> one is free here. <laughs> All you gotta do is wash it down. Adrian is dead, Allison. Your baby is dead. I had a lot of salt water. Hey. Four nights ago, I asked you when the last time he kicked was, right? And you said it was back on the boat. One half of solutions here. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> the last 
see. Okay, okay, all right, look. Um, <laughs> we gotta have a serious discussion here, right? A serious discussion. If the baby is dead, then <laughs> Allison will miss Gary. She's gonna bleed a lot, I mean, to death probably, right? Hey, for God's sakes. That's okay. Let's face it, he's probably right. If I die, there's a small cemetery near my home. I want to be buried there. I told Steve once. He'll know. That's not facing it. I mean, why, why lie to ourselves, huh? But look, whichever one of us is alive, we'll have to do whatever it takes to, to survive. I mean, we. Oh. We can't just keep dead bodies in the raft. Sharks. You should survive. Throw my body overboard. We're starving, Allison. We're starving. <laughs> Maybe if one of us dies, the other two can live. Look, I, I thought you said survive. No! I thought she said survive. Target in area Charlie 7. Attempt to relocate and make an ID. Over. Search 10 East City. Copy. Search 10 approximately 100 miles east northeast of here. Portsmouth and Hatteras bases cover that area. Uh, check on rescue boat availability and see what the Navy's got up there. Yes, sir. Make sure Search 10 reports as soon as they have an ID on that target. Aye, sir. Stand by. We'll make an ID pass on the right side. Opsin, this is Search 10. The target is a fishing buoy, not a raft. We're resuming the assigned search pattern and altitude. Roger that, Search 10. At Search 7, we need a status report and location. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. They're back. They're in my legs. They're in my legs.
That's loads of prayer and French, isn't it? You should bail while you pray. It only helps those who help themselves. I was thinking, you know that we would bail. It's over. standing out there a long time no thanks so what's going on how much longer will you search well we haven't heard from rescue center yet look i'll give it to you straight there's almost no chance of survival for the average person out there after this much time almost no chance means there is a chance you can't stop searching if there's a chance that's like condemning someone to death when there's a chance that they're innocent Sir, we have searched 40,000 miles of ocean looking for a six-foot raft. We've flown so many missions, we've had to ground some of our flight crews for mandatory rest. You don't understand. Allison is a survivor. I'm not just saying that. She had leukemia three years ago, and her chance of relapsing is high. So she runs, climbs rocks, sails, challenges herself. She's in tremendous physical condition just to survive. Now, you know she's five months pregnant, but what you don't know is that it's a miracle. They tied her tubes. Because this huge doses of chemotherapy made it too dangerous for her to become pregnant, but now she's way beyond the danger point, and she wants to have this baby more than anything. She's never going to have another chance. What I'm trying to say is she is not average. If any person can survive, if any person has a reason, 
and a will to live. It's Allison. Just give her a chance. Please, don't quit. Sir, if you need a radio man, I'm flight qualified for C-130s. I'd like to volunteer. Sir, Search 10 does need a radio man for a full crew. You're not her next of kin, are you? No, sir. Not yet, but I intend to be. I'll be talking to New York later on, and I'll pass on what you've told me about Allison. Darden, if we fly tomorrow, you're on Search 10. Allison's a very lucky girl. I hope. Up send, search 10. We've reached area Delta 5. Commencing Papa Sierra search. Search 10, up send. Roger, Delta 5. Roger, search 10. Hobson, this is Canada 1. No luck this time. We're in hope. East City, this is search 12. Negative sightings at Delta 3. Returning to clear water. Roger, Search 12. Thanks for your help. Search 7, negative sightings in area Delta 4, returning to base. Search 10's our last plane out there. Contact is scheduled. Officer, prior to the clock. Search 7-7-9-er. Search 9-er. Opening leg. Search 2, we are ready to pass. We're committed to our final leg in Delta. Navy Search 8, going to Carnegie City. Search area negative. Area. Ask Ops Center if they have any further tasking or if we should head for the barn. Yes, sir. East City, this is Search 10. We've just completed Area Delta 5. Oh, sir, the target directly beneath us. Stand by. I don't think it's a buoy. Drop the smoke. Drop Master, can you ID a raft? That is definitely a raft. East City, this is Search 10. We've located a raft. We're certainly to take a look. Stand by. Steve, come in. We found a raft. Is it Allison? We don't know anything yet. East City, I've got the lat long. Are you ready to copy? Over. Search 10, East City. Have you spotted any people on the raft? Is there any sign of life? Over. Not yet, East City. We're going around and lining up for an ID path. Stand by. Does anyone have the target? Yes, sir. On it now. Stand by to drop smoke in three, two, one. Drop smoke. East City, this is Search 10. Negative. There's no movement in the raft. It appears abandoned. We're circling the raft again. We're going to make a low pass. Altimeter 75 feet, 50 feet. Target coming up on right. Three, two, one. Target. There's someone moving. Search 10. How many survivors have you spotted? Definitely some movement in the raft. We're circling and coming in low. Target will pass just off the right wing. We're lined up on target. Search 10. Have you ID your woman? It's a woman. She is alive. <laughs> She's alive. <laughs> Lord, you got one mighty thankful guy. Did. East City, we've got three survivors. They're all moving. They're all moving. We're dispatching a rescue helicopter. Give us your last call. Here, 
dehydration, hypothermia. They were out 11 days. They probably took a lot of salt water. The woman's pregnant. I couldn't hear the baby. Okay, thank you. Hang in there, buddy. You're in good hands. Okay, just hang in there, pal. Okay, you need vital to low reading temps. Hang D, five and a half normal, 500 an hour until the temps are back. Put them on the monitor. Draw lights, sugar, create the CBC amylase, and have them run stat. Excuse me, I'm looking for Allison Wilcox. I'm Steve Voorhees. Voorhees. Hi. I'm Dr. Roth. How is she? It'll take some time, but physically, she'll be fine. Emotionally, she is very upset about the baby. He didn't make it? The medic said she hasn't felt any movement in over a week, and that's not a good sign. I was just about to examine her, but why don't you go in first? I think that'd be best for her. Where is she? Uh, down the corridor, room 729. Oh, Mr. Voorhees, after 11 days out there, it's a miracle she's still alive. You have a lot to be thankful for. should have said yes. No, the important thing is that you're here and you're safe and we're together and I love you. And I want to marry you more than anything <laughs> in the world. I just wish I'd given you this before. Our baby. It's okay, we'll make another. Or we'll adopt. He's a survivor, just like you. Four months after her rescue from the Atlantic, Alison Wilcox Voorhees gave birth to a son, Adrian. He weighed eight pounds, 11 ounces. Both mother and son are in perfect health. <laughs>